Hello, first graders. I'm excited to be with you again today as we finish up this math unit. We are going to finish up our study today on coins and counting money. So you are going to use the information you've learned. You'll need to know what the coins are. You'll need to know their value. You'll need to count them. Then you're going to have to use a lesson we learned a while back over greater than and less than. So let's get started. It's titled, Do You Have Enough Money? So you gotta think, do I have enough money? So, the first one, do you have enough money? Can you buy this puppy for 55 cents? Look at the coins you have. Now, two things, could you really buy this puppy for 55 cents? No, but to use our math lesson, I thought it would just be fun to find some cute pictures and use those. I could not really buy one for 55 cents. And if I think back to a social studies lesson over needs and wants, I have to think, do I need this puppy? I might really, really want this puppy, but I don't need this puppy. This puppy would be a want. So it would be something I would have to buy after all of my needs were met. So I'll have to look and see if I have enough money. And then I'll have to think, should I buy this puppy even if I can afford it? So let's count my money. I'm going to count the coins. I have two, I hope you said quarters, and quarters are worth 25 cents. This is a nickel, and a nickel I count by fives. And then I have two pennies left over, and I count my pennies by ones. I hope you beat me in saying those things. I hope you remember what we've been learning this week. So let's count. I have 25, 50, 55, 56, 57 cents. I have 57 cents. This cute little puppy only costs me 55 cents. So can I buy it? Yes, because 57 cents is greater than 55 cents. Then I have to think, hmm, should I buy it? Do I really need another puppy? Is that something I really, really, really need? If I can buy it, should I buy it? So you would have to decide that if you really, really needed that cute little puppy. And if you bought it, you would have two cents left. So most of your money would be gone. Next, let's look at this. Do you have enough money? Can you buy this panda for 75 cents? Look at the amount you have. I just finished reading a fun uh, panda book with one of our students. We learned a lot about pandas and we learned so much that I think, man, I kind of want a, a panda, but do I need a panda? No, a panda's not going to feel any need I have other than it's just really cute and I want it. So let's look at my money and let's see if I can afford it. So this is what I have. I have two quarters. I'm going to count my quarters and then I'm going to decide if I have enough money to buy the panda. So the first one, let's start counting by 25s. 25, 50, I only have 50 cents, huh? 50 cents, 75 cents. 50 cents is less than 75 cents, so sadly, I can't buy this panda today. But I could go work and earn some more money, and then if I have more money, I might could think about buying it later. But today, I don't need it, and I can't afford it. So I won't be buying that panda today. Let's look at the next one. Do you have enough money? Can you buy these bananas for 25 cents? Look at the amount you have. Now, bananas. I really, really like bananas. And bananas are a food. They could fill a need I have. I need food. So I might could buy these bananas because I might be really hungry. So let's see. First, can I afford to buy the bananas? This is what I have. I have two dimes and a nickel. So I'm going to count my money and see if first I even have enough to go buy these bananas. So I'm gonna count by tens, good, and then I'm gonna skip count by five. 
So let's do this. 10, 20, 25 cents. Man, I have exactly enough money. These two numbers are equivalent. I have 25 cents and my bananas are 25 cents. Those are equal amounts. They are the same. We learned about equivalence yesterday. So I can buy these bananas that I might need and I would then be broke because I don't have any money left over. But sometimes I have to do that when I buy something that I need. So let's look at another one and see if it's a need or a want. Do you have enough money? Can you buy this ice cream for 40 cents? Look at the amount you have. Now, that ice cream looks really good and I want some ice cream, but do I need the ice cream? I might have to tell myself, no, I don't know. I do have to have food, but ice cream isn't something my body needs. It's just something my body might want. So let's look, let's see if I first have enough money to buy it, then I'll decide if I should buy it. So let's look at my coins. I have a quarter, I will count by 25 cents. Then I have a dime, which I'll count by good 10 cents. And this one's kind of hard. It almost looks like a quarter, but it's a little smaller. This is actually, I believe it is a centennial nickel and a nickel is going to be worth five cents. So I know it's a nickel. Um, I know that it's a special one. I'm just not sure when this one was printed and I can't read that without my glasses. So this is worth five cents and then a penny of course is worth one cent. So count with me. I hope you can count faster than I can. So let's try. 25, 10 more, so 25, 35, five more, 35, five more, 35, 40, 41 cents. Huh, I have 41 cents. 41 cents is greater than 40 cents. I could buy this ice cream. Now I have to really stop and think, do I need this ice cream? don't need the ice cream, but I kind of want the ice cream. I would have a penny left so I could buy this ice cream for myself. Last, do you have enough money? Milk, can you buy this cup of milk? It costs 80 cents. Look at the amount you have. Well, milk gives me calcium. It's much healthier than something like ice cream. So my body might need the calcium. I might need this. So let's see if I have enough money to buy something that I need, this milk. So let's look. Sorry, that coin got cut off. We really don't have that coin. So sorry about that. So let's look at the coins I really do have. I have two of these coins. These coins are, hmm quarters and quarters are worth 25 cents and I have a whole bunch of these look at all these what are these they're the smallest coins they are the dimes and I count dimes by tens got my penny over here it's the easiest one to recognize because of its color it's darker and then I've got two of these they're smaller than the quarters see the collar these are nickels and I count those by ten, uh, fives, I'm sorry about that, by fives. So let's get started counting. I'm going to count first quarters and then dimes. Then I'll count it another way. Is either way wrong? No, you can count either way that works best for you. Whatever is the easiest for you, use that. I would suggest you count it twice to make sure that you come up with the amount both times. And if it's a different amount, then you need to go back and count for a third time. So let's look at this together. 25, 25 more, 25, 50. Good, now let's count by tens. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Huh, 
A hundred means a dollar when you're counting coins. I have a dollar, let's finish. A dollar 10, a dollar 15, a dollar 20, a dollar 21 cents. I have one dollar and 21 cents. Now, this is only 80 cents. Is 121 or 121 pennies, cents, or if I make dollars, it would be $1.21. Is that greater than 80? Or is it less than 80? It's greater. So I, if I have a dollar and 21 cents, I can buy that cup of milk that my body might need and I would have money left over. So I absolutely could buy this cup of milk. Okay, I'm going to change screens for just a moment so I can get to another page. Okay, now we're on the screen that I wanted to be on. This is your assignment and today finishes up all of the assignments I'm going to give you on the first grade level for IXL for level Q. You may finish all of level Q. I would love for you to work on this and keep working. There are several sections that are great. I would love to cover, but they're not essential for us to cover this year. The more you cover, the more prepared you're going to be for second grade, but it is not essential that you cover these. So finish U9 today, and then I would love for you to spend time this weekend or maybe next week working on other sections in level Q. So I want to look at this one specifically because this is where your homework is based, right here. So level Q, nine, purchases, do you have enough money? And we just talked about that. So let's look and see what we're going to talk about buying now. A box of colored pencil costs 99 cents. Do you have enough to buy it? So it's 99 cents. I have to get to 99 cents or more to say yes. So let's count. I'm going to count by my quarters. Sorry about that. My three quarters. Then I'm going to count these two by 10 because they are dimes. And then I'm going to count my pennies. So let's count. I have 25. 50, 75, I've got 75 cents, now I need to count my dimes. So 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98 cents. Man, I was so close. I wonder if I counted that right. Hmm. So what I might want to do is count it again and just see. Did I count that right? Let's try one more time. 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98 cents. I definitely don't have 99 cents. So can I buy me a box of colored pencils? No. I cannot buy these colored pencils today. I do not have enough money. Next, a bag of pretzels costs 91 cents. Do we have enough money to buy it? So I'm gonna do this last one with you and let's look and see if we can buy this. So again, I'm going to start with my quarters. I'm gonna count them by 25 cents. Then I'm gonna skip count by 10 cents for my dime. Then I'll skip count the remainder of these coins, the pennies, by, I hope you said ones. So let's get started and see if I can buy my pretzels. 25, 50, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 cents. Man. 89 cents is less than 91 cents. Remember, I always need to go back and count. Try it again, make sure I didn't count incorrectly, but as of right now, I don't have enough. Let's count it again. 
25, 50, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 cents. Sadly, I cannot buy these pretzels either. I do not have enough money. So, I'm going to stop sharing and talk to you for just a moment. I want you to be really comfortable with counting coins. If you need more practice, please email us, let us know. Mrs. Benton and I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We would love to see if you need help. Now, if it takes you a long time and it kind of gets frustrating, it's okay. Counting money is a little bit difficult until you master it. You will not master it until you practice and it takes time. So this year in first grade, you need to know the names of the coins. You need to know the amounts that they're worth, their value, and you need to be able to count them. You need to be able to count up to a dollar. So if you can do this, you are ready. If not, then schedule time with us to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in a small group. We can stay after Zoom, our regular Zoom time, and we can work with you, but we want you to understand this because on Monday, we're going to head to a new study, something I hope that you will really like, and I really want you to understand money first. So let us know if you need some help, and we'll be happy to work with you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.